when maintaining a steam boiler, always make sure this is cleaned out good. It's got a float that could get stuck. Volume, now it slows down. Still good flow going through. Stop it. Best way to do this is get it to a point where you're close, turn it on, make sure this turns it off. Okay, now we should be around that range for the click. When servicing, this, you want to make sure it's on, this McDonald Miller 67 low water cutoff. You want to flush out all the gunk and whatever's inside it. So I always have my boiler on. In your sight glass, you can see the water. So let me drain it. Boom. Off. So it works. And back on. What it's going to do is you drain it and you hit this, then it comes back on. Let's see. Off. See, it comes fast and then it slows down because that was all the water in here and then you got to the point where it dropped lower than here now it rises back up that's just what's in the boiler i clean this out every year so and the homeowner is good at making sure it's clean that's why you're not getting too much gum coming out but i always do this several times just to flush and move it around and make sure it's free this time, will it? Let's see. We're going to go back on one more time, I think. No. That's going to be it. Is it going to call me a liar? Yeah, that's it. It's lower than where the thing floats. And now I'm just going to drain the rest out. It says to drain it weekly. I drain it weekly always on these. I'm going to stop this for a second. So I'm going to drain the return. Pretty much clear. I always drain out the return, make sure the gunk's out of that too. This wasn't done correctly, it was done close to correct, but it's been working forever so it doesn't matter. But I prefer the Hartford loop to be coming down a lot more. But because it's old, it's gonna stay there, it's not gonna get repaired or changed or anything, it's not causing problems. Causing problems, it's another story. Not causing problems at this point in the game. This thing's got to be 30 plus years old, just leave it. Okay. Okay, we're done. There's nothing else in it. So I'm going to dump it. Now I'm filling. I'm just flushing through as it fills. Getting a good amount of gunk out of there, you can see. I like to give it a good flush like this. That helps force some of the debris and gunk and whatever else is in here. Force the water right around it. Because there's so much momentum, this is pushed down still, even though the water's higher. Stop it. Yep. But the momentum of the water forced it low enough, even though the water's higher. It's forcing the float inside to the off position. It also helps wash a lot of gunk out. The whole time I went to go get, the, well, the whole time I went to dump the bucket, I left it running. So it stirs up the gunk on the bottom. Oh. Oh. Nothing like a good cleaning for a mechanical safety. You can see the water's getting clearer now. Just enough water. It's gonna be impossible for this thing to go perfectly clear. It's an old boiler, but Let's see if it floats up at all. I'm gonna have to clean this so. at this point. A lot of playing, a lot of moving this around. 
making sure it's free. Go watch it almost, it looked like there's nothing left. Give it a second. It slows down. off get a plug here you can take off go in and move it around take this off do the same this all has to come off so you could even but it's going across this way this is where it's attached to float but it's getting the signal but what are you gonna do so now that's almost done I gotta take all this apart Right now it's down because it's empty. Okay, that's off. It's like glass. It's like made it last. It should only be hand tight. Just a wrench. Doesn't look too bad. Still gotta clean it. I'm gonna flush water through. Just like this, gotta clean it. New gaskets. Now that you filled it back up, 
usually I would recommend about here, five eighths with this kind of setup, three quarter. If it's an electronic, you really don't want water too much in here. You have a vapor barrier, but you don't want water blocking too much. We have hammering, which happens, but nice clear sight glass, water line, like I said, it's underneath this stuff, bottom of your pigtail. Good spot, but you want to keep all this open. This will clear up. When I wash the bottom, got a little foggy. And back on. There we go. Till next time, I'm out. Make sure you do all this stuff when you have a McDonald Miller 67 low water cutoff. And this other stuff is just every boiler.